Hi kiddos, for your uh, math lesson today, we're going to be doing module three, lesson 29. Our objective today is I can observe cups of colored water of equal volume poured into a variety of container shapes. And so we're gonna ask ourselves today questions about is it full, not full, or is it empty? And so we're gonna practice that today. But before we practice, let's go ahead and we're gonna do a little bit of review and some counting since I haven't seen you in a little bit. So let's take a look at this tower flip game. Take a look and at our cubes. Do you see our cubes here in our tower? Let's count the cubes and find out how many we have. One, two, three, four, five. So for this, we have five cubes in our tower. Now we're gonna take one cube off and let's put it in another tower over next to it. Do we still have five cubes? How many cubes are in the first tower? Let's count. One, two, three, four. So we have four cubes in the first tower and we have one cube in the second tower. So we can say four and one make five. Can you say that with me? Four and one makes five. Let's take a look and take another cube off and we'll put it in the second tower. Now, do we still have five cubes? Let's count how many cubes are in the first tower. One, two, three. The first tower has three cubes. How many cubes are in the second tower? One, two. The second tower has two cubes. Give me the this and that make this statement. Ready? Three and two make five. Can you say that with me? Three and two make five. Now let's take another cube from this tower and put it into this one. Now, do we still have five cubes? Yes, we didn't take any away and we didn't add any more to the mix. We still only have five. This time in our first tower, we have two cubes. On the other tower, we have three cubes. What's the statement for how many cubes we have? We have two and three together make five. Can you say that with me? Two and three together make five. Beautiful job. Let's take one more cube and put it onto the second tower. Do we still have five cubes? Absolutely. Let's see how many is in my first tower. We have one. And how many is in my second tower? We have four. One and four together make five. Your turn. One and four together make five. Great job. Now we're gonna take a look and we said today our idea is to notice whether things are full, not full, or empty. And really, what does that mean? So take a look at this bottle on your screen. This bottle is full because the liquid comes right up to the top of that bottle. We can't possibly put any more in there. So if my bottle is completely filled with something, we can't possibly put any more in there, we say that it is full. Can you say that with me? This bottle is full. There's no more room. If there is no more room, we say that it's full. Take a look at my bottle here. I have a bottle with some green water in it. If I look at this bottle, there is nowhere else for me to put more in here. It is completely full. So we can say that this bottle is full. There is nowhere else to put more water. Let's take a look at this next one. So look at this bottle now. 
Is this bottle full? Does it look like our original bottle? Is it full all the way to the top? No, we can still find room. There's room to put in more. So we say this bottle is not full. Can you say that with me? This bottle is not full. So we had a full bottle with no more room, but if there is still room in it, we say it is not full. Full, not full. There is still room to put in more. So those are not full. We have more space. Let's look at this bottle. Now, if you look at this bottle, there is no liquid in it. There's nothing in it. So we say this bottle is empty. Can you say that with me? This bottle is empty. It means there's nothing in it at all. If you look at this water bottle, it is empty. There's nothing in it. We have plenty of room to add because there's nothing in it. So our words today that we're practicing are empty, not full, and full. So we're gonna play a little game next. We're gonna have you help me. I'm going to show you some items or objects and I want you to tell me if they are full, no more room in it, it is completely full. If it is not full, which means there's space to add more, or if it is empty, which means there's nothing in it. So let's look at the first picture here. Oh, we've got a wastebasket. Take a look at that wastebasket. That wastebasket, is it full? Is it not full or is it empty? Oh my goodness, that is over full. It is overflowing. So we would say that wastebasket is full. How about this wastebasket? This one is empty. There is nothing in it. It is an empty wastebasket. Oh, let's look at this jar. Do you see anything in that jar? I don't. I see lots of room to add things. So I would say that that jar is empty. It's not full and it's not partially full. It is empty. Let's look at this one. This jar is full. There is no more room to put any more candies in that jar. So we would say that jar is full. Now this jar is not full and it's not empty. So we would just say that that jar is not full. There is still room to add more to it. What about this battery? So if my iPad had this on my battery, I would be worried because my battery is empty. There's no charge in it whatsoever. So that charge or that battery is empty. This battery though is full. It's got all the way up to the top charge. So we say that battery is full. And how about this battery right here? This one is not full. It's not all the way full and it's not empty. So we say it's not full. Boys and girls, today we've looked at capacity and talking about whether things are full, not full, or empty. As you go into your seesaw activity today, you're going to look at some pictures and decide, are they full, are they not full, or are they empty? And you're gonna draw a line to those words, full, not full, and empty.